Hello you guys, I've been crocheting a lot this month and I learned how to make the round scarves. So that's what I'm going to be showing you how to make today, the round scarves. This particular one I have on right now is a 20 row scarf. The one I'm going to be showing you how to make is a 10 row scarf. It's this one right here. All you'll have to do if you want to turn it into a thicker 20 row scarf is just add 10 more rows to it following the same pattern, the same stitch. So the one we're going to be working on is this one here. And you can see like this particular stitch stretches so nicely, it's just so perfect. I mean there's so many ways of wearing it, you could just put it, lay it flat or you can twist it around once and just do that kind of thing, just leave it like that or my favorite way of wearing it is when I wrap it around three times and it's just so I don't know, it's just comfortable and it's not in the way and you just put your jacket on and you're out the door and it's just very simple. My all-time favorite ones are the ones that are the same, it's going to be the same exact pattern but it consists of 20 rows. So those are really, really thick. It's these right here. These are the ones that you could put over your head. And those, I've just made two of them. I've made an orange one and I made a, a it's a brown one. So the way you apply, you put these on, you wrap it around your neck, you twist it, let me show you there, you twist it, and then you bring it around, and there you have a really scrunchy round scarf. You see how big that is and how pretty? It's just so comfortable. Now if you want to put it over your, your, your head, all you do is you bring the back part up like that let me and there you have it so these are just so scrunchy and they're just so beautiful i'm really in love with these and i've been using these a lot i like them a lot even probably the ones i've been using more are the 10 stitch ones because they're like i use these for nighttime these during the day the 10 roll ones but i'm really in love with them and this is what i'm going to be teaching you how to do today the round scarf. The tools you're going to need to complete this project is a yarn color of your choice. I'm using this one by Red Heart. You can see the information right there. And the color is Buff, number 0334. You're also going to need a crochet hook. Now what I've done to my crochet hook is I've added one of those gushy thingies you add to your pencils because I've been crocheting so much I began getting a bump so this is really helping a lot and it's just optional. I just wanted to share that with you guys. The size I'm using is this one right there. And you're also going to need a pair of scissors. It's totally optional if you want to have at hand a little safety pin. And I'm going to show you guys why a little bit later on, but this is totally optional. Now let's get started with our round scarf. I'm leaving a little bit of a long tail to my scarf. And I'll show you guys why a little bit later on. I'm going to get my crochet hook and I'm going to begin a chain of 180. I'm going to place my crochet hook, cause a little bit of pressure, twist it, and bring it all the way around. Now I'm going to hold the tip. The other side I'm going to wrap the yarn around and bring it in through the loop I've created. And there you have one wrap it around, bring it in through the little loop, there you have two, and I'm going to continue doing this 180 times. Once you've completed your chain of 180, you're going to get the two ends, and here you can see the little tail. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get my crochet hook and I'm going to connect the two ends. I'm going to place it over the first stitch, I'm going to get my main source of yarn, wrap it around my crochet hook, and bring it in. And there I've connected my two ends. So I'm going to be creating a chain of six. This counts as one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you have that extra little piece of chain going upwards. You're going to come down to your original chain of 180. You're going to skip the following stitch and go into the next one. Place your crochet hook in bring the yarn out, there you see the two. I'm going to wrap my yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through only one of them. 
and you continue to have two little hoops. I'm going to wrap it around one more time and go in again through only one of them. There you have your two little loops. On the third time, you're going to wrap it around and bring it in through both of them. And there you have a little one little loop. You're going to make a little chain of two. This one counts as one. Wrap it around. There you have the two. So you have this little extra piece. You're going to come down again to your original chain of 180 and you're going to skip one, go into the next one, place your crochet hook, bring your yarn out, and continue the same process. You have two there again, wrap it around, bring it in through one, wrap it around, bring it into the second one that you have the two, you're going to bring it into both of them, and there you have one little loop, two little loops. Come back around again to your original chain of 180, skip one, go into the next one, and continue doing this all around. This is what we're going to be working on. It's not a difficult at all, not difficult to do. And there that's the, the, the way it's supposed to look. And then until we get all the way around. I'm going to go all the way around and show you what's next. I've gone all the way around to where my two ends meet. And right here you can see the long little strand we have. And the reason I like to leave that little strand there is because you're going to know every time you go around that you've already completed another row. And that's where the safety pin comes in. If you'd like, you can place a safety pin here and that way you see the safety pin and you know you've gone all the way around. Or you can guide yourself by the little strand, which is what I'm going to be doing. So to begin row two, the stitch we've left behind consists of a braid, a braid, and in between there's a strand, a single strand of yarn. So you don't want to place your crochet hook over the right side of the little hole, you want to place it on the left side of your little hole. So I'm going to go in through that left side hole, bring my yarn in through there, and begin the process all over again. So it's going in once, wrapping your yarn around your hook twice, here you have the two, wrap it around again, go in through the two, and now we're going to do a little chain of two. There's one, and there's two. So we're going to continue doing this all around um, row two, you're going to go in not through the right side, you're going to go in through the left side, bring that in, wrap it around once, twice, bring it in through both of them, there's one, there's two, and you just continue doing this all around. I'm going to show you guys really slow how I'm getting this stitch done. I'm going in to the second little hole, bringing my yarn out, wrapping the yarn around my crochet hook, bringing it in once, I'm going to wrap it around again, I'm going to bring it in twice, and there you have the two loops. I'm going to bring it around a third time, and this time I'm going to bring the yarn in through both of my little loops. Now you have one left, I'm going to wrap my yarn around again, and I'm going to make two little loops a little braid of two. I'm coming down again. Here you can see the right side, the left side of the next stitch. I'm going to place it in through the left side and the pattern continues. I've finished row two and I'm beginning row three. I know that I've gone all the way around because I'm passing the little tail of yarn I left behind. So I'm going to continue doing the same thing. I'm going to come, here's the stitch, here you see the braid, the braid. I'm not going to go in through the right side, I'm going to go in through the left side and I'm just going to continue this pattern all around all the rows of my scarf. And the reason I tell you it's so important to not going through the right side, going through the left side every single time so that your pattern looks neat. For example, here you could see that the braid on row one is right under the braid of row two, so they're right under each other. And once the scarf is complete, it makes it look really neat. So I'm going to continue going in, not through the right hole, I'm going to go in through the second little hole, and I'm just going to continue doing this to all of my rows of yarn. My scarf is going to be of 10 rows. It's up to you to decide exactly how thick or just 
it's up to you. I, I've i done some really thick ones and those are my favorite ones. But this particular one, I'm going to be making it of 10 rows. So I'm just going to continue doing this 10 rows all around my scarf. Here you can see my scarf of 10 rows. What I'm going to do is I finished it off over this area. Well, I haven't really finished it off yet. I'm going to show you how I'm going to finish it off. You can see it looks uneven there because there's a higher row. So what I'm going to do to the last stitch is instead of going in twice, like we did, you could see the two little loops. I'm just going to go in once. You could see the once little loop, the one little loop. And I'm just going to go straight in to the left side again. And I'm just going to bring that right in. I'm going to get my scissors and I'm going to cut this area. Now I have this loop here and I have the extra little tail over this side. I'm going to bring the extra little tail in through the loop and I'm just going to press it like that. So that's going to make my scarf look as if it were an even row. Now what I'm going to do to this extra loop I'm going to flip my scarf backwards and I'm going to loop it. You can pick an area of your choice. I'm going to loop it towards the back and I'm going to do the same exact thing again. I'm going to get the little tail, bring it in through the loop and press it in again. Now what I like to do over this area is make a knot after this. You can finish it off however you want. I know there's some people that don't like finishing off with a knot, but I've never had any problems with finishing off with a knot. So all I'm doing is bring it in, bringing it in through another little loop and I'm just going to knot it three times. So now I can cut off the two little tips. And there's the last stitch of the scarf and it doesn't look uneven. I'm going to do the same exact thing to the bottom side to the little tail we started off with. So here's where we began and here's where we ended and it just looks even to the scarf. It's not much of a difference but everything's actually hidden in the back which you also can't see it. Let me zoom you in a little bit. I finished off my last row over this area and then my first row right there but the knots aren't even noticeable so this is just a very pretty scarf and look at the stitch it's just you can see the little braids how they're one on top of another and then the single strand in the middle they're stretchable you can see they stretch nice and comfortable these are just so perfect and trendy for the winter